Hey Flaunchers, in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about everything airwalk. Now, everybody loves a good airwalk, whether it's one hand upside down on the roof, all that fun stuff. So we're gonna be going over what you need to be working on to get your airwalk. There are lots of different ways to do it, lots of different progressions, so let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is get comfortable with leg waves. Now, we have several tutorials on the Fit to Flaunt app if you search leg waves to help you work on them, but let's get on the floor and... So the first thing we wanna work on is getting comfortable with the movement in our legs because if you don't have that down, your air walk will not look nice and smooth and fluid. So we are going to just slightly bend the knees. So even though it's an air walk, we don't want to be bending our knees too much because again, it wastes energy and your trick will not look as clean. So you're just slowly bending the knees and slightly as you can see. So it's a slow movement with your legs and knees are just slightly bent. So now that we've got that down, let's bring it up. So now we're gonna go over the different grips for your air walk. So if you're a beginner, then for sure you will be starting with a true grip air walk. So true grip looks like this. So let's say you're in the air or the pole is spinning. You will be holding the pole in your true grip and from there, working on your walk. So as you can see, again, knees are just slightly bending. If you bend too much, it does not look as clean. Later in the tutorial, I'll be demonstrating what all of these skills look like on spin pole. So now that we went over two grip, the next grip we wanna work on is elbow grip. So this is the next progression from true grip. Elbow grip, we are squeezing the pole with our elbows. We have a lot of tutorials again on the app with elbow grip skills, so you can practice that at a different time if you need to. But once you're in your elbow grip, your outside hand is pushing against the pole. And to make sure you're ready for this is to practice and see if you can hold your chair. So you're gonna grab the pole for your elbow grip. You want to have the pole right on the uh, outside of your elbow. And when you bend, your uh, fist will point down towards the ground so that you lock it in. So again, we're here bend and point that fist down towards the ground so that it's locked in. Outside hand pushes down. You don't want to have it too high so that you don't hurt your elbow or your shoulder. So you want the arm straight and you're going to practice uh, using your trigger finger. So you have your pointer. I know it's a lot to remember, but you guys can rewind and watch again if you need to. So trigger finger is pointing down, grabbing the pole and practice bringing your knees up. If you can hold this with no problem, then you know you're ready for your air walk with the elbow grip. So the next grip is split grip. This one, you're holding your air walk, inside arm is extended, outside arm is pushing away, so this is the third hardest hold. So from here, again, practice on the floor, make sure you can hold your uh, feet up. If you know you can, then you know you're ready to try your air walk with this split grip. Now, the last one is just a one arm air walk. Now, for those of you who don't know, I just had twins, so I am not able to do the one arm air walk anymore, but check out this video right here of me doing it so you can see what it looks like. But with the one arm air walk, it's exactly what it sounds like. You're holding the pole with your inside arm and doing your air walk. So this is the final and hardest progression for the air walks. So now let's put our pole on spin and test them out and see what everything looks like. All right, so now my pole is spinning. I'm gonna put some fits of font pole grip on my hands to dry my hands out. Put a little on my pole. <laughs> and now let's see the true grip air walk. So now let's bring it up. So for the true grip air walk, this is the only air walk that looks the best on static because of how we're holding ourselves. It's not really that fluid to do it on spin, but this is something that's really cool. You can incorporate into your static routines. And, and it's, I mean, it's definitely uh, really nice to look at. So once you go up, you're holding the pole and again, slightly bending your knees. And from here, you can transition into a sit and go wherever else uh, with your routine. 
Now for the elbow grip air walks, those have to be on spin pole. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna bring it up. And from here, I'm going to grab the pole, outside arm straight, and again, thumb is pointing down, slightly bending my knees, and you can see how pretty the air walk looks. I'm doing it on the side of the pole, because if you do it facing the pole, it's so pretty, but it just looks cooler if you turn out and you do it on the side of the pole. The cool thing about an elbow grip air walk is that you can also do it upside down. So you would go into your elbow grip Aisha and work on your walk. So you've probably seen my really cool Instagram videos of me walking on the ceiling. And that's what I'm doing it from. It's just an elbow grip Aisha, but I do it closer to the ceiling so that my feet can touch. Now let's go over our split grip air walks. So again, this is the third hardest grip for our air walks. So we're going up. And from here, I'm gonna have my top arm extended, outside arm bent, and again, on the side of the pole. So if you want to eventually be able to do the one arm air walk, this is the one you want to practice the most. The cool thing about this split grip air walk is that you can also do it on static pole also. It's not mandatory for the pole to be spinning. So let's see what it looks like on static pole. We're bringing it up, we're here, and once you're on static, usually you do it facing the pole. When you're spinning, your body naturally rotates, so you're turned out when you're doing it. So on static, facing the pole, and walking. Last but not least, we are going to go over the setup for the one arm air walk because again, I'm not able to do it anymore. Just right now, I'm still practicing and working to get it back, but I'll actually attempt it so you can see uh, what it looks like when you're practicing and working towards it. So I'm going to go up and I'm gonna have the same setup as if I was going to do split grip, but I'm gonna have my arm really extended. And instead of having my trigger finger going down, I'm grabbing the pole with my thumb up, belly button height to push my body away. And from here, if I had the strength, I would let go and be able to go into my air walk. So again, for those of you who are working on your one arm air walk, to get into the position, you climb, top arm, inside arm is extended, you're not going into trigger finger. You have your thumb up, grabbing by your elbow so that you're pushing your body out to the side. Then once you release, you'll be able to do the air walk. So in this video, you've learned how to do your air walk no matter what level you're at, whether you're a beginner, you're working on your true grip air walk, or you're an expert polar and you wanna work on your one arm air walk. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to download the fit to font app. We added a lot of cool new features to the app. We have a new onboarding flow now where you can tell the app what your goals are and we create a custom calendar just for you to help you reach your goals. So make sure to go check out all the cool new features. Thanks for watching.